So let's move on now for the wire stages. From what I can see from here, it seems like that the graphic bugs that appeared a lot on the Mega Man 1 run I made, it seems like they're gone. I guess that changing the contracts really fixed things. Now for a very memorable stage music. I think that everybody who played the classic Mega Man games on their childhood died of nostalgia with the Octazan Man remake they made with this song. <laughs> I got the power. The metal blades are stupidly overpowered. It got too much ammo. It's like it's god mode. I won't bother if that went up. I always hate him doing this jump again. Use the quick boomerang from here. <laughs> if you get stuck, you have to keep killing the sniper jewels again and again if you need weapon energy. Come on, say goodbye. See ya. In some, uh, I think that in the Wily Tower game for the Mega Drive, they made it so that there was an invisible wall so that little enemy would keep going back and forth. And here, when I was a kid, I once ran out of ammo for item 1 because I couldn't make these jumps right. And a nice trick is to use the first platform here, while on the ladder. Yeah, that's pretty tricky for a child to do. Talking about tricky... This part here, we're moving, and the speed moves along with us. Until eventually, the screen starts moving on its own speed. Which really messes things up. I hate this part. Now, that's why I got them loaded of fire. I just usually let Mega Man get hit, and if you don't touch the directional, he'll just land on the middle platform. And last I saw, it seems like the, the quick boomerang it doesn't make things any easier or harder. Using the regular buster there is just as good, so yeah, they've used the quick boomerang ever since I played this game for the first time, that battle. Some things you never grow out of. Take your time and ignore the first letter. Go for the second one. It's really counterintuitive, really. Having to refill the weapons between the stages really adds to the difficulty. There's no really getting that E tank because we got four of them already. Uh, 
uh, mole corridor and one that we can't just jump over them so we must take a goddamn long time fire and moving one little step at a time could it get any more boring than this? You really want to have the crash bomb at full aim all the time. Everyone who played this game knows why. The other weapons aren't as crucial as the crash bombs. I didn't raise full, okay, that's all I need. At least for after this corridor. Ah, you still there? I thought you would have fast forward the video for after this corridor. Seriously, who had the big idea? All this thing does is make take a long time. You can, however, just rush through, get some hits. I think you can make with half your energy on the end, but well. We're still not there yet. These. This never ends. Come on. In Mega Man 10, there is also the Mr. Perfect challenge. And the very last stage got a. I want. A corridor of moles. Getting through these corridors without taking damage is insane! One way to consider using the time stopper here. This part is pixel perfect. See? There's barely enough space for Mega Man to stand there. I don't need that. Metal blades, there, and for the boss. I hate this boss. I never remember their its pattern. So I frequently get hit. Like this. Almost got hit again. Again again. I won't take chances. This boss deals way too much damage on contact. So if you remember its pattern, it really really helps. In the end I didn't need that E-Tank, but I'm not taking chances. Two more stages to go. After an amazing stage music, we got depressing stage music. At least these stages are shorter. Okay, I want that E tank. Okay, careful now because we want that energy refill. we go. Let's refill the metal blades. Oh, 
Alright, moving on. Now, I wonder, why is the water yellow? This is disgusting. And the huge fish. It scared the hell out of me when I was a kid and first played this. Wasn't supposed to appear another one here. I remember reading something funny. Let's see if I remember it right. <laughs> yeah! The big fish dies to the quick boomerang and seems to be the only thing that actually touches it. Talking about touching. Leap of faith here. almost impossible to avoid damage on that one and this one too. You have to make a small jump before they appear on screen. And against Dozer, I'm not sure if the quick boomerang is really its weakness or if it's just convenient. Easy enough, boss. Nothing much to say about it. I mean, really, if you die to it... I mean, how you got here? I don't know what about you guys, but I'm starting to feel hungry here. Let's get this done with so I can go and grab a snack. Okay, let's refill white on tree because it's the one who's... Shorter on ammo and... We got plenty of ammo for the quick boomerang. I'll refill widen too. Okay. Moving on. Ah. Oh well. This stage is a very uh, annoying one for particular reason go through floors this is the second part of the game that the bubble lead is useful so you know where the go through floor is and it's always as wide as one of these squares. And here, if you want, instead of avoiding that one, we can use item 1 to go through this part here. And here, you can either use item 2 to avoid, or use the bubble lead to lead you. See, this is where we must jump. E-tank. We got four already, but if you do want to get it, take note of that go-through floor. And I think that uh, behind that mat is another one. And no more through floors for now. Thank god. This part is annoying because it takes a while. You can be there some and just jump sometimes. Other times, like here, you can do nothing but wait. In theory, you could use item 1 here, but it don't save more like than 2 seconds, so it's not worth the time. The enemies chasing you, they're always really annoying. So the metal blades with being able to shoot on all 8 directions is really helpful. Alternatively, you can use the leaf shield and just stand still. But since there are some points that you must move, you might consider just using the metal blade instead. Now 
this part I prefer to use item 2 to get through. Simply because I hate timing jumps. Yeah, there is no really way to avoid damage there. The only way to completely avoid damage in that part, I believe, is to use a fully charged atomic fire. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Not two of them. Not three of them. Get out! <sighs> so, as I was saying, you could try and use a fully charged atomic fire, but it requires precise timing. So, just take one hit and spam the quick boomerang anyway. Everybody hates this boss. Period. It deals way too much damage, and the game goes all glitchy on the graphics, so it's hard to keep track of everything. Not only that, you must keep careful track of your crash bombs. You need all seven of them. You can use six if you manage to land a crash bomb exactly in the middle of that wall and the thing, whatever the shoot thing is, above. But it's very, very tricky. Unless you're playing with safe states or something. Just be safe, okay? So, yeah, you must be perfect here. And if you fail, you have to keep killing the sniper Joes outside to refill your crash bomb ammo. This is the most unforgiving part of the game. And this is pretty much the last stage, and now that's unfair. Okay, so let's go. Hate man! You can use the bubble lead here, but he's easy enough. It's not like that it's really necessary, but saving some bubble lead ammo can be useful against the final boss. Ah, uh, hello airman. Okay, now it's a good time to use the leaf shield. Who's next? Woodman! Let's burn him. I always get hit by the falling leaves. But here, the leaves take a longer while to fall, so yeah. It can be a good and a bad thing. Lobo Man! His true weakness seems to be the Metal Blade, actually. And here, there's no spike ceiling for you to worry about. Sometimes I like trying to snipe him using diagonal shots or something. Quick, man! It's funny because the Metal Blades are so overpowerful that people usually use it against everything, and the quick man blocks the metal blades. Let's just make a case in point. See? It's almost cute. 
Since we won't be using the time stopper for anything else, we might as well use it here now. It save us ha half the trouble. Here there are no steps, so... The fight actually seems easier here. Crash man! Whoa! He shouldn't jump yet! Anyway... Only two more? Who's next? Metal Man! Funny fact! He's weak against his own weapon! It takes half his health! On easy mode, that's a one-hit KO! And the last one? Flashman. He's also particularly weak to the Metal Blade. Much like everything else in the game. Metal Blades, stay there. Okay, Wild Machine. This one is insane. If only because it has a stupidly big hitbox. Not this first one, but the second one. It is possible though, if you manage to save one of your crash bombs, stay safe, don't take chances. The e tanks are here to be used, so yeah. In the end, I didn't need it, but whatever. If you manage to save one of your crash bombs from the previous fight, it's possible to shoot it at a very specific spot, and the explosions will one hit KO Wily. A nice trick hold right from the beginning and hug the right wall. So, those dropping things, by the time they reach the, the screen, you'll be past them. If you fall normally and Mega Man is the middle of the screen, you have to time to avoid them. And they deal stupidly high damage. So, the bubble leads the only thing that hits the final boss. Most everything else will either deflect or heal him. I remember being afraid of aliens when I was a kid, so seeing Wily turn into one it scared me a lot when I first played. Ugh. Okay, I guess I gotta time me down now. I mean, I can't be the only one who was afraid of aliens when I as a kid. Like, really afraid, I'd have nightmares about them. Uh, okay, stop talking and just focus on the fight, Ryan. Here you have 56 shots with a full bubble lead ammo. Okay, I won't take chances. Every time I start talking, I get hit. And each one takes a unit of damage from the alien. So you need half your ammo if you're going to finish enough. If you die and you run out of ammo, you're pretty much screwed. There we go. Seems like it got bugged and Mega Man had disappeared. Oh well. I remember when I first finished this, I was so mad at Whitey for fooling me with the alien. Funny thing. We don't see Wily running off this time, so why is he on the loose on Mega Man 3? Oh well. Now for the credits. 
I really like the credits in this game. The seasons changing, the background matching the seasons, and Mega Man choosing a weapon whose color fits. And the music is nice too. It fits the happy ending like. Am I the only one who loves rain? This is my favorite part of the ending. So. Does this mean that all four seasons went through by the time Mega Man got home? Oh well. Now where is the town? In the ending of Mega Man 1, wasn't Wily's lab... not Wily's... Light Laboratory, like, in the middle of the town? There was a town in the background, I remember that. Oh well. It's not like the Mega Man series is known for consistency. Ironic that the Robot Master's numbers continue on, but after the first eight that were creation of Dr. Light, every other is the creation of Dr. Wily, but they keep counting from where it stopped, it's not like a new counter. Hmm. Oh well, whatever. I just feel like letting the credits roll, but I don't have anything much to talk about. I think about the snack I'm about to eat now. Yeah, I guess if I was to make this into a single video, it would be uh, an hour long. Well, the Mega Man 1 video was 50 minutes. But I'll start splitting them into two. I think it would be a good division. Maybe by the time we reach Mega Man 7 and 8, those two are longer because the stages are longer. I just might split it in three. Well, we'll see when we get there. However, Mega Man 4, 5 and 6, if I remember right, they got two castles each. But I think they're all short enough, I guess split into two will be enough. And that's it for the Mega Man 2. I really love the classic series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And probably we'll be back with King Hearts 2 soon enough. I just need to find some free time. Until then, see ya!